individually we are each one color but together the colors mix and make a big rainbow individually we are each one drop but together the drop mix and make a big ocean even the weak person becomes stronger when he is united and we may have different languages we may have different skins different languages but we are all in one race i can do things that you cannot do you can do things that i cannot do together we can do great things so my dear sir and my dear friends unity is strength what do you mean by this this tells you if we are united we will become more stronger there's a quote like this if we are if we are united we stand but if we are divided we fall what do you mean by this if we stand together if we work together we can fight with anything or anyone as we become more powerful and stronger but on the other hand if we talk about if we are divided what will happen we will always fail there is no strength without unity and also you cannot unite with other people until you are united with yourself and if we talk about the advantages of unitedness what are what are these there are plenty of people feel less stress why because they solve problems together they feel more comfortable and they feel more happy why because they all they all kitchens they solve together and even we can see the example in the animals animals are working together so if we talk about uh, the examples like ants wasps bees so many kinds of animals are working together than the people and also we have to work together that's very important for our future and a lot if we see an example a lonely grasshopper is not powerful at all but if we think lots of troops of grasshoppers are they powerful yes and if we when if we talk about the stories many of many stories teach us the importance of unity and this the farmer and his quarreling sons is a well known story for everyone once upon a time there was a small house in the middle of the forest so there lived a farmer and his sons so one thing that the farmer has is these sons are quarreling always they are not they are not working together always quarreling so this old man old man is always thinking about this so one day when he was thinking he got an idea so he called to his sons and then he told take this bundle of sticks and if you, you have to break 
these into pieces. This old man, this old man, give this to the first sons, and the first son, he tried and tried, but at last he also gave up. Then the second son. He also tried then the first son. He tried several times. But at last he also gave up. Then it comes to the third and the fourth son. They also like that. They are trying and trying. But they cannot. So in here the son, the smartest one is the first one. He think an idea and he took the one of sticks and take one by one and break into pieces. So what do you think about this? And then the old man said, Children, you know that you can see the example that if we are together, that you cannot break the bundle of sticks. Why? Because they all are together. We can't break. But if we are only one person, we can break easily. So, these brothers understood that their father tried to say. Then onwards, these brothers lived happily ever after. So friends, what do you think about this story? What is the purpose of this story? This tells you what's the importance of this unitedness. So at last I'd like to say, I'd like to request you be together where, wherever you are. In the school, at the office or in the market. If you see a person, you have to help him. You must not go your own. And you have to be united in the schools too. You must not quarrel each other. And I'd like to request you to spread this message of unitedness to the whole world. Thank you.